What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are finally, finally back, man. What a time to be alive, man. Finally back in the surgical room for some WWE action figure surgery, man. It's been too long. It's been too long, man, and I apologize for that, but you know, I, it's... <laughs> If you could see this office right now, man. It's a lot, man. It's a lot. It's a lot to deal with, but I am blessed and highly favored. But today, we're finally back with WWE action figure surgery, and I do believe we have some good stuff here today, man. I'm excited to get into it with you. Of course, we're going to break everything down, but I don't even know what episode we're on. we got to be in the 90s, right? I think we're on... Is this number 90? We're somewhere right there, man, but we're slowly approaching 100. I thought we'd be at 100 by now, but with all the different things I've had going on, Brad, I mean, it's, it's freaking insane that I have enough time to eat right now. However, man, let's dive into WWE action figure surgery. It is the episodic series here on the channel where we take a bunch of WWE action figures, we customize them, we fix them up, we switch some parts, we upgrade our figures and make them better, or just make some swaps that I want to see happen. So let's shut the hell up and dive into it. And we always start off with what? What do we start off with, Brad? We start off with whoever the hell is on the stretcher. And today it is the Ultimate Edition Jay Uso action figure, man. We got some cool stuff planned for this Jay right here. And of course, Jimmy. We have Jimmy and Jay. We have both Usos. Today, man, we're going to be taking our Jay Uso, and we don't have like a crazy fix up today we're just going to be cutting his shirt yeah i said that right i'm cutting his shirt man he wears like crop tops all the time i'm going to be cutting his shirt and we're also going to be switching his head sculpt out and we'll see what that looks like i just i, I feel like that would be a, a nice little fix up there so we are going to do that we're going to switch this guy's head sculpt and cut his shirt nothing too over the top or, or crazy but it is something that has to be done now you're probably wondering what the hell this superstars rock figure over here is doing and today man we're going to be cracking this guy open found this on a toy hunt a little while ago if you guys missed that toy hunt definitely check it out. It's a pretty loaded toy hunt. I found uh, for, uh, some loaded stores, but I'm going to be opening this guy up. We're going to put this fabric vest onto an Elite, and we're going to be fixing it up. We're pretty much going to turn this WWE Superstars figure into an Elite figure, and we're using the Attitude Era Rock Elite. This actually is the greatest hits, though. This is the greatest hits version, so we're going to be turning this into an Elite here. I don't really care for this head sculpt, and I don't think I have any head sculpts to swap. However, you guys know that we have the Legends Target Exclusive Ultimate Edition Rock in the tracksuit coming, and I'm going to use one of those interchangeable head sculpts to go on here at a later date. So that is something that I'll have to, that'll be on surgery eventually, I imagine, is switching out that head sculpt. This is the head sculpt we're going to rock today. With all my rock figures being in like boxes and stuff, it's kind of hard to keep up with. So we're just going to move this out of the way and continue on with our WWE action figure surgery, getting into Jimmy Uso. Now for Jimmy Uso, we have some cool stuff going on, man. I'm going to be switching this head sculpt with this Elite 95, and you're probably wondering why would you do that? Well, it's just because, well, it's just because, well, first of all, I did uh, custom paint this head sculpt right here. I added the red right there like the highlights to it and that looks so good but you guys know that this is the, not the right heads uh, you know the hair sculpt so we're going to be switching these and i don't have a damn exacto knife i gotta go buy a new one i can't find mine anywhere man dude moving is just so damn stressful bro god in heaven but you have to keep reminding yourself that that's not why are you bitching about that you know what i'm saying so many other things bigger than your dumbass complaining about a move but it is like those little you know those very just minute inconveniences that you're like god why can't i find anything but nonetheless man take the exacto knife i would you know carve that out and i want to make some like i don't know i may have to get bw on the job but like making some interchangeable head sculpts or like just converting the jimmy uso head sculpts into like actual jimmy uso head sculpts but we're going to be switching these and i'm also going to take this black sleeved arm from this J jimmy over here and we're going to put it on this j over here so that it matches this jimmy so they'll have the both black sleeves or should i go both white sleeves i've been struggling with this i feel like the white is such a good contrast huh should i switch jimmy's arm to white White or Jay's arm to black? Like, part of me wants to, because you guys know that I've been waiting on Black Uso joggers. I think I want to, okay, now I'm getting into a scenario where I kind of want to, like, do all this in one video right here. I kind of want to switch their shoes to red and their sleeves to black. Hmm, but I can't find the effing figures, man. This is the issues, man. Damn. Damn, boy. Damn, boy. I might have to wait on this one. I can't find any of my effing figures. I know I'm far away from the camera. This goes back to my moving point. Can't find shit. All right, we're going to wait on that one. We're going to wait on that one. Probably be its own separate video. I got to find these things. It's stressing me the hell out. Okay. So I guess for today, we can switch the sleeve. We can switch the sleeve. This is something we can do. We can switch this head sculpt onto the ultimate and this sleeve onto this. And we'll put this white sleeve over here just to, just for the shishes and gigs, I guess. And we'll have the extra white sleeve for a later date. So that's what we're going to do. Let's move this guy off the thing. God, I want to fix that up. Oh, yeah, these are going on the rock figure. So I got to put these over here as well. And this is going on the ultimate Jimmy. So we'll put that over there. Now, next up, we are going to be taking the Elite 92 Adam Cole. And we're going to be fixing up this custom yellow 
yellow gear. Look at this custom yellow gear. This is made by my man Posh Customs. I don't know how well the head sculpt's gonna fit on there, but we're gonna see. We're gonna try and fix up that yellow attire, Adam Cole. I thought that was a pretty sweet figure. You guys know I love Adam Cole. We're also going to be head swapping this Dolph Ziggler Elite with this Dolph Ziggler Basic. And I plan on getting more of this figure, so it's not a big deal to me to switch it. Probably make like a promo gear Dolph or something later on down the line, or I don't know. You guys know I love Dolph Ziggler, so we're gonna be head swapping these guys. And last but not least, we're gonna be head swapping these guys, man. This right here is gonna be beautiful. I love this white attire. I really want to transition this attire to an ultimate or an updated elite with updated, you know, the double jointed arms with white wrist tape and white wrist tape hands. And then I just want to update this figure because this is one of my favorite figures, man. The white attire fantasy gear Randy Orton is so beautiful, but we're going to be fixing up these two together. And that is everything that we have today on WWE action figure surgery, man. Should be a great episode, but now let's go to the surgical room with Dr. Whitekiss and see what the hell we can get started. All right, Brad, let's dive into it. Starting out first, we do have our rock figure. Now, this shouldn't be anything, you know, just completely groundbreaking or anything like that because it is just switching the clothes out. But I already have the Attitude Era figure, and uh, the single jointed arms are covered up by the jacket. So why would I why would I use the Greatest Hits version for that when I could just do this? Now, another thing to note, you guys know that we do have, like, some, some watch accessories coming soon. I'm going to be putting a watch on this son of a bitch when it's time, when we get some more molded watches and stuff like that. But I'm going to be putting this vest on here right the freak now, and... And this should be relatively simple, I hope. I mean, I don't I don't foresee any problems with this, but, I mean, I could tear this freaking cow vest right in half or something like that. But we're going to take this, slide this onto the arms here. I really wish this had a bendy wire in it, but we're not going to complain, man. We're just going to ride it out with what we got right here. Now, a lot of people are going to say, well, why wouldn't you use the Ruthless Aggression Rock Elite? And that's because when he wore this vest, Brad, he was not wearing the Brahma Bull belt buckle. Pick that, put his sunglasses on, and look at that. Look at that freaking beautifulness right there. Now, I don't I don't like this head sculpt, but we'll take a look at him at the end, of course. But I think that's money right there. And I say he didn't wear the belt buckle. I don't think he wore the belt buckle. I'm about 95% sure he wore the belt buckle in the in the Ruthless Aggression era only. And we'll put the Superstars figure back here. He can lay down. Take a rest. It's been a hard day. He literally only took his vest off, Brad. I become a professional wrestler. I'm going to come to the ring with a damn zebra vest. How about that? Now, let's move on to the next thing. Should be relatively easy. I think these things should be pretty quite simple, man. We have the SummerSlam Elite Ziggler here now. One thing that made me hesitate about this swap is that I didn't want to switch this just because I already have the Elite 70 Chase, which is pretty... This is the Elite 70 Chase head sculpt, but I'm going to, again, I'm going to buy multiples of this figure, so I don't think it really matters to me because I'm going to get more of them. So we're just going to pop this off here and then pop this off here. And I guess what I can do is just pop the ponytail head sculpt onto the basic. And now we have a new Elite Ziggler. God, how sick would it have been to see this in like that light blue color. Imagine an official Mattel Elite. One of my favorite gears he's ever worn. And he doesn't even... Eh, we've never seen it in figure form. This gear right here, dude. Holy crap. It's so simple, but so beautiful. That color is just money. Why do you think I use it on the channel, Brad? Now, let's move on. Well, actually, not move on yet. You dumb moron. Put that on there. Now we can move on. And he'll go in the crowd later. All right. Next up, another very simple swap that we have for today. And it's just going to be uh, taking this out of coal. I hope this sits on here correctly or I'm going to be freaking pissed off. But uh, Elite 92 head sculpt popping it onto the yellow Elite. And okay, that's money sauce. Look at that. Okay, don't look at it. We'll come back to it. We're going to come back to it. Just, you know, stay with me here. I know we have some swaps on here that aren't necessarily heat related. But we are about to get into some. So just bear the hell with me, Brad. We'll get in there. Uh, jacket there. All right, moving on next, we do have our Randy Orton. Now, do we need... Okay, what I need to do here, since we do have these two Randy Ortons here, I need to... Uh, I gotta heat up the... I gotta heat up the white attire head sculpt, so we're gonna put this down here. I gotta heat this up to put over here, and this guy can go over there, and then we also need to heat up the Elite 95 head sculpt of the Jimmy and not only that, but we need to heat up his sleeve because that is going on the other, what is it, J? Yes, it is the J. And the J has custom cloth goods on there, but I'm just going to risk it. I'm going to go ahead and heat this up like this. Ooh, should I? No, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to risk it. That would be dumb. One of the rules of action figure surgery, man, you can't shortcut. If you want things to, to work out, you got to whole ass it. You can't half ass it, man. Sometimes you get lucky and, you know, you have favor in things. But if you really want to be set up for favor in life, and, you know, I always say I'm blessed and highly favored. If you want blessings in life, 
and you want favor, you got to do the work too. And sometimes you do get lucky. I think luck and you know being blessed and highly favored in life is a thing. But you got it. You got to put in some sort of the work. And I know there's people out there that get lucky by the world standards, but I think hard work matters a lot. Sorry that turned into a TED talk, but you know we could get into those things all day, damn. Anyways, let's go ahead and heat these up. We're trying to get these arms, that head, and that head off, and then we can pop some things around. You know, get things set up, and let's just shut the hell up and do it while I'm rambling. All right, Brad, let's see what we got here. Hopefully not too hard here as we get our J. Just slap that off right there. And then uh, pop this off right there. And then we're going to put this onto the other figure here. Very, very nice. All right, got our J. And then we're going to pop our Randy Orton head sculpt off right here. Nothing too crazy. Uh, this is a good head sculpt for like bald era Randy Orton. I just don't I don't really care for this head sculpt anymore I think it's pretty old now, but uh, we'll put that Randy off to the side for the head swap And then we do need to pop this head sculpt off good lord I had to do that so slow off camera. That was egregious. All right now we have this white sleeve arm. We're gonna pop on here just for the future purposes perfect Nice nice. That's pretty that's that's not half bad right there. All right, now, uh, where's my Jimmy Ultimate? I'm going to take our Jimmy Ultimate right here. We're going to pop this head sculpt off. Put that over there. We're going to pop this Jimmy head sculpt, this Elite 95. We're going to pop that onto the Ultimate right here. That doesn't look too, too bad right there. We'll take a look at him in just a second. I just, I really like the red hair on there, man. That looks pretty damn good. I think I did all right on that. Tones and everything are solid. It feels like yesterday I was seeing those, those Ultimate Usos at the damn Mattel Design Center. Just still one of the most unbelievable things I've ever done. All right, uh, now we got to pop the J shirt and stuff a good god are you trying to knock shish over son like get, get out of my face all right we're gonna take this shirt put this back on the figure here dude i just thought about it college football week one starts today oh, it doesn't start today but it's like a lot of teams play today some teams played last week in week zero some teams played thursday some teams played friday but today is when all the everything kicks off man the season is officially here and if you guys were unaware i'm a massive college football college basketball just football fan in general obsessed with it and maybe one day i'll be hoisting a championship trophy on a field somewhere as a coach one of the things i'm legitimately passionate about but nonetheless right now we're working on our Jay Uso any football coaches out there watching this man shout out to you let me know down in the comment section below but all right there's our Jimmy so tell me this since I have this Jay shouldn't I cut this shirt too why the hell did I take it off I wasn't gonna I'm not gonna cut this shirt that wasn't in the plans today we're gonna cut the Mattel shirt all right so that there's that so now look look what we got here so look you have Jay and Jimmy here now look look they're matching that looks much better now we just got to get red shoes on these guys which we will do because I wanted the black look I know you're gonna say well it turns in nicely with the white designs and the stuff I understand that but how many times did I tell you guys that I wanted black jogger Usos and I know we have like the ultimate editions but those are different because those also have the white sleeve variant lots of things to discuss man just 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 calm down for a second all right just let me do my thing and we'll get into it later but now uh this guy I guess can go on this jimmy right here we'll just put this on here just for a nice little fix up jimmy uso and that ain't half bad right there you got a little something special going on there young man now look look at our look at our jimmy ultimate right here now look when we put the bloodline hat on there look at that money right there we'll take a closer look at him in just a moment now we got to fix up our J, and we got to head swap our randy orton now for our randy orton swap um i'm just gonna be popping that ultimate head sculpt on here and i think this is gonna look pretty damn snazzy put that over there look at that right there man that is absolute money now we'll look at him at the end stacking up pretty nicely here um <laughs> what what the hell is this gonna look like on the ultimate edition is this gonna look awful i don't like it Mm -mm. No, I don't. All right, now. Now, I think our last bit of business is just getting this J right. And for our J, we're going to pop this head sculpt off. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on here. Got to pop the jacket off because we got to get the shirt off so we can cut it. And I want this to be right. So, uh, you know, all right, that. Now, people have been asking me how I get the shirt on the Legends Eddie Guerrero, how I get the shirts on these. Well, guys, they're ultimate editions. So you can pop the arms off here. Pop the arms off, and then you just slide it off like that right there. Look at that. How easy was that? Okay, now, I don't know if the trusty scissors have ever made an appearance here on the channel, but we have trusty scissors, and they're not really trusty. You know, they don't have zebra print or anything like that. They're just plain regular scissors. But now we're going to cut this shirt, and I'm going to try not to F it up royally. Alrighty, man. I don't know how well this is going to go. I might just completely F this up. Yeah. 
All right, we got a little bit of fringe going on right there that, uh... Here, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. All right, man, here we go. I did cut the shirt. Now let's put the shirt back on here and see what it looks like. Hopefully it doesn't look abysmal. Dude, that looks pretty damn okay, you know? Like, probably need to hit that with a lighter or something. But I think giving it that fringe look kind of makes it, like, more accurate. So we're just gonna... We're gonna live with that, man. I ain't gonna have no... I don't have no damn dealings about that. That's not half bad right there, Brad. Put the arms back on there. Get the necklace back on here. And then put the head sculpt on there. All right. Now let's take a look at everything we did today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. All right, man, here's everything we did today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. I'm actually quite happy, and I'm happy for a lot of reasons, man. Happy for a lot of reasons, man. Some things that I've been praying for, some things that uh, I have just been, like, you know, kind of, you know, kind of like those delayed gratification style things where, you know, you just stay the course. And again, you know, it all comes back to my faith, of course, but there's some things that I've been praying for, man, for, like, two years that have come to pass, man, and I'm about to see kind of the fruit and the, the reaping of the sewing I've done for two years, you know, kind of come to fruition. And, you know, you're I, like reaping those benefits of those things. And it's just so rewarding. And I'm just so thankful, man. I don't mean to like get off crazy here, but, you know, I consider the channel not only just WWE action figures, but I'm inviting you into my life, essentially. And, you know, I, I want to talk to you guys when I have a moment here with you. If you're here, man, you're here for a reason. I'm talking to you, so maybe something like that can identify with you, but yeah, man, just such a blessing, but I don't want to get into the details because it's it's a whole thing, and maybe one day I could break all that down for you, but nonetheless, man, let's go ahead and get into today's WWE action figure surgery, and we're starting off with these Usos. Now, I know, I already know you guys are going to say, oh, well, Brad, now, I know you guys are going to go ahead and tell me that the white sleeve looked better, but you don't know what I'm going for, man. I'm trying to fix things up. Just, get, just let me cook a little bit. Let me cook a little bit. Step out of the kitchen for just a little bit. Now, Dr. Wadikis, I don't know my track record. You guys are watching the surgery, so maybe you like what I cook up most of the time. Nobody bats a thousand, but the black sleeves look good, and we are going to switch out the white shoes. Now, would it make it better if I, like, I don't know, should I remove the white designs off these tights and have red shoes so it's only red designs and, and black? I don't know. You guys can let me know, but these look good. I'm pretty proud of those Usos right there. Those look freaking sweet. And then we have our Ultimate Usos. You guys can let me know what you think about this. Should I cut every J shirt? Should I cut the J shirt so then I know which one are J's and you know they kind of look better you know look good on the figures so I, like I like that man that looks really really good you got the ombre with the red and white on the Wii the ones Jimmy looks really damn good as well he's got the red highlight in the hair can't even see his damn face but this looks excellent man really like these can't wait to pose these guys in the ring if you know what I'm saying we also have the Adam Cole here in the yellow this turned out fantastic huge shout out to Paj for the custom here now I did you know this is like commissioned work or like he put it up for sale so I go went ahead and pulled the trigger but this is a great looking figure right here man I love this Adam Cole we also have the Randy Orton here in the white. Now, I did put on this custom hoodie because I think it completes it. Head sculpt looks phenomenal. Gear looks phenomenal. I just want to put double jointed arms on here. Upgrade. Like, I want to translate this. Maybe I can hit up BEW. Maybe we can get this remade. But it still holds up after all these years. This is a fantastic looking figure. And, you know, it's just outdated, but it still looks damn good. And it's like one of my favorite Ortons I've ever made. That, that You know, that's fantasy gear right there from MDT's brain. And then we do have the Dolph Ziggler here, the SummerSlam Elite, with the head, head swap fix up here. And you guys can look at the... Uh, the basic here, so there's the difference there. Both really good head sculpts. I enjoy both of them. I don't have a, a dog in the fight there. I really like that fix up there. And then finally, we have the Superstars upgrade to the Greatest Hits figure. So, see, the arms are exposed, so you can see the double jointed arms. You got the head sculpt on there that I don't really care for, but the cow vest does fit an Elise. If you guys were like, huh, can I put that on Elite? You absolutely can, Brad. You absolutely can, and he did wear slacks. He did not wear the belt buckle. Now, I have seen people put it on the belt buckle head sculpt, but this figure right here with the Brahma Bull title would look so damn good, but I like this a lot. This looks clean. I I don't care for this head sculpt per se. Like, it's not a bad head sculpt. I just think that it would look better with an Ultimate Edition head sculpt on it with, like, the, you know, the long sideburns. But I still really dig the Rock figure, but... Here's also the Jimmy that we fixed up with the Ultimate Edition head sculpt and the white sleeve. That doesn't look half bad, but he's also got the J's on there, so... Or does he have the Jimmy's on there? Ha ha ha! No less, man, that is going to wrap up WWE Action Figure Surgery, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know what you think of all these fix-ups down in the comments section below. Go ahead and try and line them up right here. Got the Ultimate Jimmy over there. Got the Ultimate J over there. Putting that over there, and there we go. Thought he was about to faceplant for sure, but... Before we get out of here, a huge shout-out to our patron supporters of the MDT YouTube channel. And we had a sign-up a couple days ago to my man, Thomas Stalker. Huge shout-out to Thomas. Thank you so much for signing up, brother. Happy to have you over here on the MDT Patreon. 
Patreon, man. Really appreciate you signing up there, man. That is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on all these things down in the comment section below. I'm getting out of here. But follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on my name, Toys. I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>